Welcome to the farthest frontier, guys. That's right, we've got a new City Builder Colony Sim game from Crate Entertainment, apparently. It's going to be great. Yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it and start our new settlement. Um, I think we'll go with Pioneer since I'm new to the game. And what a very apt name. I usually call my settlements that name. How curious. Uh, pacifist mode is available in that avoids the invading armies, aggressive animals and stuff. Well, we're going to contend with those today. And uh, yeah, just to give you a bit of background, I play a lot of city builders, like RimWorld and all kinds of stuff. But in the old world, there was no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed, the ruling class would still collect the same share, leaving our children to starve. And if we had any coin to our name, the taxman would appear, demanding it for the crown. The nobles hid behind the safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave. That we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness, seeking the promise of a new land, than starve to death in our homeland. The journey wasn't easy. We lost many along the way. This wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. Very cool artwork. Yeah, nice choice. Very, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. You get a lovely cutscene with artworks. That's pretty cool. Very good job. Soldiers can be deployed from barracks to destroy wolf dens. Now this is an early access game and we can kind of tell because we look at the loading screen. Goodness me. Uh, I don't have a slow PC by any means. So that's interesting. I guess because it's making the town for the first time or making the area. It's got a... It's not as bad as like seven days to die or something where it takes forever to generate the whole map. I did choose a large map after all as well. But yeah, you know, I give you a bit of background there and then the cutscene kicked in. But yeah, I play a lot of city builder games. That's my jam for sure. So you're going to get someone who knows city builders pretty well telling you about the game. <laughs> I got to admit, the first time we tried this, it crashed. So... Thankfully, it's working now. So we need to establish a village center of sorts, or a kind of storehouse. Uh, I was hoping to find some water sources, but I don't see any whatsoever. Wow, no rivers, guys. Okay, so we're just going to pretty much put it down. I think this is grassland. I'm not sure. This looks like plains. I'm going to put it down, I guess, here would be an okay place. Let's put it down about here. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't see any rivers, any lakes or anything, so... Alright, now we have a kind of fog of war. Interesting. That we didn't have before, so you get to see the lay of the land. Okay, let's have a look at what we got to play with. Uh, we got the health situation. We got the how many you've got, how many uh, villages. Villager happiness, food store. This looks very reminiscent of... Um, uh, the name eludes me, but uh, th there was a game very similar to, to this setup. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, we have seasons as well, so we better get cracking. Let's see, we've got building menu, we've got harvest resources, we got clear, so we can give the order to clear. Like what, what sort of stuff we want. We can tell them to clear individual things, it seems. That's cool. What happens if I... Can I... It seems that it's just like you just tell them what, what you want clearing. 
I don't know. There's a housing shortage. Yeah, we get that. Ah, we need a forager for the eggs. Fair enough. But we can certainly harvest that bush. Okay. So it's got some greens that can be foraged. Still need three more wood for some reason. See what I mean about, like, you gotta be careful what you assign. Alright, we've got a firewood, uh, we're building a firewood splitter and we've got our first house. You can see who's living in there. Looks like it's uh, four people per house, which is uh, quite a lot. And I also have made a nice pathway to the well. Uh, hopefully that's enough water for everybody. I'm not sure how you can tell how much water you're going to need. Uh, but we're certainly going to need some more houses, that's for certain. Uh, interesting point of note, you can't rotate the map. Oh, you can rotate the map with the middle bus button, rather. That's how you rotate the map. It's the old WSAD. And uh, yeah, you can zoom out quite a lot. It's not... I'd like to see a bit more, but that's fine. And uh, interestingly, placing houses, for example, uh, it's uh, the first test is, do they tell you how to rotate your houses? They don't. They really need a tooltip saying, you got to hold the tab key to rotate your house. But uh, of course, they don't tell you that. Uh, which is unfortunate, because, uh, you know, these building games, it's nice if they tell you how to do that. I'm going to build a road down there. I'm going to keep a gap in between just so we can make sure that we can get paths in between. Um, I'm presuming that a kind of block setup would be the best the best way to uh, break these up. Uh, the best way to path rather. It's like a usual grid system. That's how I usually like to do it. It may not be the best, I'm not sure. Depends on the game. I do like the way that every citizen has a profile that you can see what they're up to, how much education they have, what age they are, what ailments they have. I really like that. The, it, it, it feels more impactful when, <laughs> when they uh, succumb to the elements, as it were. Because, uh, of course, this is very much, uh, seems to be at least a survival game. Um... Let's just see, yes, we can have a lovely dirt road in between these houses. That's entirely possible. Good stuff. Um, another thing I've been looking for is... We also have a clear option where, it should, where you can just like... Can you get rid of all this stuff? It's very handy. Oh. Not that though. Yes, I think I've... I think I've exempted it from, from the clear option. So I'll give, the, give that building prioritized status because that's rather important. Right, we're out of the we're out of the winter, but I'm not sure how I can manage to get two more people. <laughs> it's like what the f? Two two more people just showed up. Oh, we got four adults and six adolescents apparently. Well, we all know how they showed up, but... Uh, oh, wait, more people wait to join your settlement. A mass of four months' supply of food and six houses. Okay, so you need to meet requirements in order to get more people. Cool. So we, we made it through. We do have a forager shack now. And we have uh, two of those. I need to assign... I recommend that you pause more often than I do. Uh, I kind of was a bit, a bit relaxed, a bit too chill. And that's why, you know, things didn't go well with some of my citizens here. So, by all means, you, you've, got, you've got to pause every now and again while you're looking at stuff. And just sort through to what you need. Like, right now, I'm like, okay, so we need to sign a profession for our new forager building. Uh, sometimes it seems to auto-assign, like it's got one there, so that's already done for me, that's cool. Uh, but if it doesn't, you can always add it there. And I, I really like that 
you know, as you would expect, you can you can tell it like people to stop construction while you're waiting on other things. Yep, we definitely need another well because this is a little just a tad out of the way. I wasn't sure like how far out of the way it would be. This guy seems to be doing all right. So the weather's all thundery and rainy, and man, I love the atmosphere of this game. It's very cozy, very nice atmosphere. I'm actually... <laughs> yeah, I just said, uh, it's interesting how fast the weather changes. It's like so fast. I wonder if you can change that somewhere. Maybe you can. But yeah, we got, we got our graveyard sword. And now we're just uh, not sure why we haven't put them in the grave yet. Maybe we need to set it to clear. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting any options to clear away the bodies. So let's hope that they do at some point when they have time. <laughs> They give him a proper burial, huh? Let's have a look at the animations. Very nice. Satisfying animations. Very cool. A nice little graveyard there. We're building uh I'm building a stock a stockyard. Because I'm not sure if this can hold stuff. Uh, maybe it, it seems to be able to, yeah. But uh, I want to make sure we have a yard here so we can see what we got as well. I love that you can prioritize buildings. That's always nice to see in these games. Yeah, it's all coming together now. Just need to uh, sort the food situation out. Now, of course, with some games, uh, certain buildings have a undesirability factor. <laughs> So, good to put your production buildings together, kind of outside of of town, basically. Not a good idea to build next to the uh, residential areas. It's always a nice touch to see um, in a city builder game. It's always nice to, like, you know, it has uh, limitations, shall we say, depending on what, what people like. And people won't appreciate like I wonder if the um if people are uh, offended that they're living next to a graveyard it doesn't seem so I don't see a, the desirability factor being low because of the graveyard at least so that's a relief but yeah other, other things like industry naturally needs to be kept further out of, of the town all right, we got six new villages. Let's welcome them. We'll have to build them some shelter pretty quick. Let's prioritize the housing. Um, oh, we have some deer in the area. That's good. I've got another hunting thing here, but I don't, I don't know if it has to have sighted animals. I suspect it probably does. Um. Yeah, one thing I will say is that you definitely have to watch what you build. Like, make sure you don't build too many things at once. And fields take a long time. Uh, it takes a long time to make a field. I'm actually quite surprised. Bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlements. Okay. Yeah. Let me do that now. A lot of uh, things unlock. Um... At tier two, when your uh, your main settlement building is at tier two, it's like lots of cool buildings, like barns and stuff. We raise livestock, cheese makers, bucketry shops. Let's just look at all these buildings. Work camp. Continuously harvest wood and stone. That comes at tier two. So we're at the foraging stage. Then you got tier two, which is the kind of you know, basic production, and then you got advanced production, which is very cool. 
Very cool. And I presume uh, lookout towers and such will be needed later on in the game when you become more advanced. As a tier two, you get more, uh, you get more dangers and stuff. Or maybe as you branch out, as you can see, you can lay down a flag to explore new territory. And uh, on the outskirts, I've got all my foraging buildings, and on the on the interior here, I'm trying to trying to get my first field going at the moment, and try to get the farming going. And get some more houses for the new people, quick. That's a really cool feature, you can actually uh, set a building to relocate. Which is pretty awesome, so you don't have to build like a new one every time and demolish the old one, you can just be like, okay. We can be like, uh, I have a forager shack here, it's not in the best position, right? we can say uh how about we can either salvage here or we can replace or uh, relocate rather over here so say i want it to be more out here i can just plonk it down wherever really and they will move it well, that's a really nifty feature i don't think i've seen that in any other game to be honest it's all been like you know, oh yeah you've got a you've got oh dehydration but we've got plenty of uh yeah, we've got plenty of water. Maybe we need to build a, a basic well closer. So that's something to bear in mind. You've got to have the wells like really close, it seems. Otherwise, people will start uh, dying of dehydration. That's really weird. Ooh, we can build a market now. That's cool. Well, no, we've had our first disaster. There's an actual fire. I don't know what affects the fire. I suppose there's wells nearby, at least. So, looks like everybody's getting involved in putting out the fire, at least. So, it's important to have many wells nearby. I think the fact that there's wells nearby should help. Yeah, it's uh, good stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> That's something to bear in mind, make sure you got wells nearby, otherwise you might be in trouble. Uh, I got excited about this, because this improves the ability of people to carry stuff, but it requires willow, and I have no idea where you get willow from. Uh, I haven't seen any plants for willow, uh, so I'm going to explore a bit more, and hopefully I'll find some at some point. Oh, we're so close to building a first field. I want to see what you can do with it. It's, this has taken me two years. I don't know why, but it's taken two years. Just because I haven't had the, the uh, number of people to, to do this. But yeah, it's taken two years to make our first field. Maybe even three years. As you can see, I've got 33 population now, which is quite good. Okay, crops ready for assignment. What can we assign? Click to add crops. Crop rotation, ooh. Soil mixture four. We can add clay to the mix, right, to to give it some more bonus. Uh, right, so what do we want? Uh, we can have beans, we can have turnips. Is the frost tolerance. Uh, we're quite early in the season, so I don't know how long stuff will take. This is the thing. Crop yield obviously is important. Six or ten. Eight of ten for carrots. Okay. Ooh, nine of ten for cabbage. Yes. I think we'll go for a... They only have a moderate storage life though. Hmm. Help improve soil fertility. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Uh, it's asking me, I guess we can plan our crops. We can be like, okay, so work on beans and then I want you to work on. That has a frost, high frost tolerance. Uh, maybe we could have some wheat. And then at the end of the season, something with a high frost tolerance, like, I don't know. Peas are best grown in early spring. 
Do not require high, high fertility. Yeah, I've got some carrots going. That's cool. So you can like have three crops going on at the same time, or maybe three different seasons. I'm not sure, guys. I'm just going to be curious to see what it produced. Estimated yield, 365 beans. Okay, cool. So yeah, it seems that they're first going to do some beans. Absolutely great. We'll see how that pans out, shall we? See how that pans out. Definitely want that compost yard up and running. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the manure is backing up. <laughs> Let's harvest them resources. Good stuff. All right, so we're doing all right for food now, and everything seems pretty good. It's going to promise to be a good harvest season. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. We've had a nice look at the game. Um, time for opinions, more opinions. Uh, I've pretty much been just uh, highlighting things that I noticed about the game um, and how it differs from other games. It's very similar to, um, you know, other games of its ilk. Um, what, it, what I think it does really well is it has the wall mechanic. It has a potential. We haven't been attacked yet. But I, um, that is a thing. And also there's wolves and stuff that will attack. Uh, one of my people got attacked by a wild animal. And um, I don't think that's in, in some of the other games we've had recently. That's a nice touch. Um, also you can have walls and things to keep them out. Watchtowers. It's uh, quite advanced, I would say. Um, the buildings especially, you know, it's, it gets quite advanced. Um, I would say, yeah, I would say, like, hopefully they're going to have more than just barracks, but that's pr pretty cool that you can have little armies and stuff. You could build, like, a nice big wall and fortify gates and maybe, like, a makeshift castle and stuff. You could have a nice large statue. It just goes more in depth, for me, at least, and it brings back the mechanic of, you know, desirable areas and stuff, like I'll be putting down gardens and things to make Things look nice. Now I've got the survival ability, you know, once we've got the survival aspect sorted. Um, you know, we've got crops growing now. We can start to think about making it look nice. Making it look a bit more, you know, um, organized. You know, once you get over that survival hump, man, it, it's not that difficult. Um, you know, of course I'm not playing on the, the, the hardest mode or anything like that. Where you start off with the with it being really hard or whatever but uh yeah it's certainly not too bad that first season was was harsh because we didn't have enough housing but now we do we're attracting a lot of people we you know they're having a lot of offspring so we're not short of people at all uh, so you grow fairly quickly and it's nice that you can go up to like three times speed um or even half speed and I recommend when you're first starting out, you probably want to be on half speed. I think I was on like, what, three times or something silly like that. So I wasn't really looking at that much at all. Uh, but yeah, you should probably bear that in mind. But yeah, there's a lot of really cool options here. I hope they're going to add more in the future. I mean, this is still um, early access, which is incredible. I mean, you have all this and they're going to add more to it. So this is going to be a very in-depth game, guys. I remember the name Banished. Of course, Banished. Who could forget? Lovely Banished. Banished is definitely the game that this reminds me so much of. Um, and it goes into perhaps a bit more depth than Banished did, I think. But that's exactly what it reminds me of. It's so similar to Banished. And Banished was a very nice game, very good little... I wouldn't, couldn't they call it a city builder? It's more like a village builder, settlement builder. Ah, it's just so good, but it, even Banished I don't think had as detailed animations, and I think they had the uh, a lot of th similar things though. With the whole, you know, you can see who everyone is, what they're doing and stuff, what clothes they have. Banished had all that, and uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that game, so it's great to see a a kind of another game of the same elk, basically, with lots of lovely details. Look at that. 
just a just a great chill game guys if you love uh you know building up little settlements and survival colony games this is definitely for you guys i thoroughly recommend it uh, the reviews are great and i can see why because they're starting with a massively solid foundation they're not charging a lot for this either it's like 20 bucks it's a no-brainer if you like these kind of games pick it up guys you the only thing i will suggest is is um keep it slow when you're when you're struggling uh, and micromanage and then once you're up and running it gets a lot easier um so but i'm sure there'll be challenges once you go up to tier two or expand too far but i haven't met those yet but yeah, th that's all I got to say, pretty much, guys. Uh, do pick this up. Uh, I would give it a solid uh, 8.5 out of 10, especially considering this isn't finished yet. This is uh, very nice indeed. Um, just so many little details here and there that just make it very atmospheric, uh, very pleasant to play, uh, very enjoyable to play. Um, the, the hours just fly by and it's that sort of game where you can just switch off and manage your own little settlement and there's a lot of uh there's a lot of buildings to go through guys a lot of progression to do um yeah it's just hours and hours of fun to be had here guys i, I would think ooh, at least 60 maybe 100 hours of gameplay here easy um, so great value for money, lots of uh, building to do, and you can, you know, if you like min-maxing things, if you like getting th the most efficient town set up and you're not a slob like me and just position things where 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 I can go. Of course, I, I'm going to pile shit up and tidy it up. I always start off a bit, you know, scruffy and just positioning things so I could survive, and then I, then I start to uh, focus on how I'm going to lay everything out. I do it later, but, you know. Everyone's different, you know, some people like to do it from the get-go. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Please let me know what you think about the game. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the game down below in the comments. I look forward to reading that. And please leave a like if you like the video. And uh, please, uh, yeah, subscribe if you like to see more, guys. Anyway, till next time, thanks so much for watching.